This is Andre with the best tech. In this tutorial, we're going to master how to transform an existing UI design to a full stack application. To facilitate both beginners and advanced developers, we're going to start slow and pick up the pace as we progress. Our goals are to create a node server for our application and separate our Stripe payment server from our app server, giving us more room to reuse the server in any other application that we might need to develop in the near future. We're also going to be hosting this Stripe payment server on railway so that we can facilitate stripe webhooks in our application for order creation and sending feedback to the user whether their payment has been successful or not we are also going to explore shared preference advanced mongo search indices without wasting much time let's dive in and introduce the main features of our application up we have our title and below we have our tabs so if we click on these tabs we are navigated to different sections of our application and below we have these tiles show all then we are redirected to the index that we were on in our page so let's take for example we are on women's shoes page if we click on show all and here when we are getting all the shoes we are getting the shoes for the women so right at the bottom we have our beautiful bottom navigation bar and if we click on search this is what we see and we can be able to search so here I'm going to search for a random item I'm going to say fly wire and press search so we have a product if we search for a product and click on that product we are navigated to the product so let's go back and we have to go to our favorites so our application is made in a way that if you are not logged in you are unable to view favorites only people who are logged into the application have access to that part of the application and if we go to our profile page it's the same so let's go back to our home page in our home page let's say you want to add this product your favorites and you're not logged in you're redirected to the login page this is our login page so if you don't have an account you can go ahead press register and then you're redirected to the registration page we want to go ahead and log into an account and then we can explore the other features of our application so right here we have the ability to hide or show our password so let's go ahead and log in. So now we are logged in. So let's take, for example, we went to the kids section and we want to add this product to our favorites. If we click now, we are able to add this product to our favorites. So if we come here and visit our favorites, now we can view the products that we have in our favorites. So in our favorites, we have the ability to delete a product. So we can delete all the products from our favorites. And if we delete these products from our favorites, and then here, our state changes. So let's go ahead. We want to add a product to, to the cart, or we can go ahead and visit our profile. So this is our profile right on top we have our name displayed and we have our email displayed so here we have the ability to access our orders so if you visit our orders I've already purchased two items and these are the items that I purchased so this is how our orders page look like so we have our orders and they can be scrollable and my favorites we viewed before so right now we are in the cart so in the cart we don't have a button to check out. So our application is designed in the way that, okay, you can come to a product that you want to purchase and select that product. If you select that product, then you can get the checkout button. So let's say I want to purchase this pair of sneakers on top. I'll just go ahead and select it. After that, I can just press proceed to, to check out. So if I press proceed to check out, then I'm taken to Stripe payment page and in our Stripe payment page we have to give some information so that we can check out so let's go ahead and do that so once we make the payment our order is created and we are taken to this page to show us that our payment has been successful all this is being done in a separate server which is dedicated for stripe only and it is the server that is also responsible for creating our orders so if we press back if we close this and come back to our orders we get the data now we have a pair of sneakers that that we just purchased so let's go back so we have the ability to log out of an account so if we log out then we are taken back to the login screen so we can press back now we can no longer access the the profile page as well as our our favorites 